Tips for making profit at the thrift store? Always be on the lookout for this Avonshire blue brand. It looks very similar to Wedgwood, but Wedgwood is more matted. This is $2.99, sells anywhere online between 10 and 15 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store? If you find this cast iron train set, buy it. This set was six dollars for like five cars it sells online between 200 and 300 bucks tips for making profit at the thrift store please be on the lookout for these vintage class candy dishes this is 250 sells anywhere online between 15 and 30 bucks subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store if you find fiesta wear the platter always buy it this can sell for 20 bucks a piece subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store always be on the lookout for the swung glass vase this vase is 209 it sells between 20 and 300 dollars online subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store be on the lookout for these beautiful indiana glass company bowls this is $2.99, sells anywhere online between 20 and 50 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. If you find this blue flower corningware pattern, buy it. Unlike Pyrex, it's less expensive and people still want it because you can collect it. This is $3, sells between 10 and $15 a piece. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for the Universal Cambridge brand. This pot, this jar, is i think it's two bucks in here sells between 25 and 45 bucks online tips when looking for profit at the thrift stores always pick up teacups or glasswares with patterns on it this is a tea set by corel worth about 30 bucks tips for making profit at the thrift store if you find this light brown to amber color this is vision by corningware it's super profitable this is $3.24, sells online between $25 and $30. Bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. If you find this ivy pattern, go ahead and purchase it. This is Corningware, the Corningware ivy pattern from the 1990s. This is $3.24, sells between $10 and $15 bucks a piece. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Be on the lookout for this wedge wood plate. This plate is 209, an amazing find. It sells anywhere online between 20 and 30 bucks. Subscribe for more. This for making profit at the thrift store. Be on the lookout for Jackson's China. This is the red hummingbird pattern. This was restaurant wear. This is 409. It can sell anywhere online between 20 and 40 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at Goodwill. Always be on the lookout for colored glass. This one. 69 cents sells for about five dollars a piece subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store if you see this piece go ahead and purchase it it is corningware even though it's not the blue flower pattern it's still desirable this is 124 sells between five and ten bucks a piece subscribe for more tips when looking for profit at the thrift stores always be on the lookout for milk glass this makes money Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for vintage life magazines. These are very collectible. This is five bucks. Sells between 20 and 30 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Be on the lookout for vintage racing memorabilia. This racing cooler is $6.95. Sells anywhere online between 20 and 50 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Be on the lookout for this NASCAR diecast replica cars. This in the box costs $3.99. Sells anywhere online between $20 and $40. Bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at Goodwill. Always be on the lookout for weights. $2 for this. Easily sells for about $10 to $15. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Be on the lookout for collectible toy car sets this crayola crayola set is 189 sells anywhere online between 25 and 30 bucks subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store always be on the lookout for the anchor hawking brand this is 69 cents sells between 10 to 15 bucks subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store be on the lookout for this yellow 
Tupperware brand. I don't know if you can see it. This set of four is four dollars. This sells between ten and fifteen dollars a piece. Subscribe for more. Make sure you go through the mugs diligently. Corningware 109. I tell you, just look for that pattern. I get you right every time. Tips for making profit in Goodwill. Here's a general tip, but always come to Goodwill on weekdays rather than the weekend. I went this weekend, didn't find anything. I went today, got a basket full. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for the Polo Oxford Classic Fit. This is $6.99, sells between 20 and 40 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for the Pyrex Crazy Daisy pattern. This, I got a set of six. That's it for 10 bucks. This cup alone sells for 10 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for dishes with a pattern on it. This is a, a dish by Corel. About 69 cents on that. Sells for about $5 a piece. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for Danish teak pieces. I spotted this piece for $9.99. This can sell for hundred bucks all day long. Subscribe for more. Tips for making money at Goodwill. Corningware, $3.24. Always buy it. Tips for making profit at the thrift stores. Always be on the lookout for Blu-ray DVDs. This costs 25 cents, sells between five to 10 bucks online. Not the most profit, but you can make money with a lot of them. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Be on the lookout for these vintage color glasses. This is 69 cents, it sells for about $5 a piece in an antique store. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at Goodwill. Always be on the lookout for old encyclopedia set. This whole set costs five bucks. You can sell it online anywhere between 50 to 200 bucks. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for this Fenton candy dish. I bought this for 309. Sells between 20 to 30 bucks online. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for this muted, matted blue and white finish. This is actually Wedgwood. This is three dollars. Sells anywhere between thirty and fifty online. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Be on the lookout for vintage bowl game scarves. This is a Rose Bowl vintage scarf. Sells between ten to fifteen bucks. I picked it up for fifty cents. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for this pattern of Corningware rather than this pattern of Corningware. This pattern is way more older and valuable. Subscribe. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for the white Pyrex dishes. They aren't as expensive as the pattern Pyrex dishes, so they sell way faster. This costs two bucks. I can probably put it in my shop for 10 to 15. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for the Erker Hawking brand. This is a casserole dish. That's $139. This sells between $12 and $20. Bucks. Easy $10 to $15 profit. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. If you see this, buy it. This is Pyrex. And this comes in a set. People are always looking for the set. So this always sells. This is $3. Sells between $10 and $20 online. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Look for vintage thermoses. This is $3. Sells anywhere between 10 and 15 online. Quick, easy profit that sells very well. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always be on the lookout for Fiesta wear. This is $3. This can, this can sell between $8 and $10 a piece. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. If you find these, this style, buy it. It is Pyrex. This dish is five dollars. So it's anywhere between twenty-five and thirty online. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store. Always look at the bottom of the mixing bowls. This is glass bake at the bottom of that. I don't know if you can see it. This is a three dollar piece. Sells anywhere between twenty and thirty bucks online. Subscribe for more. 
tips for making profit at the thrift store, be on the lookout for vintage casserole dishes. I have an Anchor Hocking and a Pyrex, each $1.99 a piece. Sells good for $10 to $15 a piece. Subscribe for more. Tips for making profit at the thrift store, be on the lookout for this Shannon Crystal. This is four dollars it can sell anywhere online between 25 to 45 bucks subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store be on the lookout for the anchor hawking glassware this is two dollars and 75 cents this can sell anywhere between 10 15 bucks online subscribe for more tips for making profit at the thrift store if you find these canister sets this one has the flour and then the sugar and the tea is right behind me buy them this set is eight bucks it can sell anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks online